Hi, hello everybody. So today's tip on saving um, can be applied to board games or in fact life in general. And I feel it's about as good a tip on saving as and as a bank plan like that says if you spend two dollars, I mean twenty dollars on the card, it saves two dollars into your savings account. Now, admittedly, this this method has nothing like forces you to save or whatever, but it's like a good reminder. It's like a good piece of advice. Um, and like example, to give you an example before we delve into the idea is like Sun Tzu's Art of War. Now, when someone Sun Tzu's Art of War says something like attack the enemy where he's weak and avoid him where he's strong. If anybody told you that, you would just go duh. But the fact that it's still read to this day is because it's simple and it's just a reminder. It helps you focus towards a goal. And same thing with today's goal. Um, today's goal is saving and the tip I'm going to give you is something as simple as this. It's just record recording your expenditures, be it on the iPhone, there's apps for it now and all that. And before you're off the video, just hear me out. Um, the fact that if you record everything, like for me, I'm thorough, I record even one cent. If I pick up one cent, I'll write it down. People have made fun of me for that before, but I think they're trolls. I like to be absolutely accurate with my spending. And what this does is, um, example, my first rule is at the end of the day, I will record all my expenditure. Um, at the end of the day and this actually <coughs> can save you money why true story my twin brother also does this now and he's, he uses computer and one time he was outside and what happened was that he was buying he wanted to buy something but he was actually afraid that when he got home he would not he would forget to you know type it in um, and he didn't buy it now upon discussing the topic that we felt that he had to save money because if he really needed the item you would have bought it anyway. Like if you needed insulin, you would not say, oh, I'll oh, forget to type in, so I'm not going to buy it because you need it. It's medicine. Um, so basically, we agreed that basically he didn't need that item. And because of that little extra trouble, it's just human nature. You know, you basically, example, you can argue with this, but you would say he would be paying for the worry of the whole trip home having to type it into the computer so he didn't need it he didn't he felt it wasn't worth it and he didn't buy it thus it saved him money on an item he really didn't need so that's one thing the other thing <coughs> excuse me is that it reminds in terms of that when at the end of the month for me i will always look at all the expenditure and tell myself do i need this do i need that did i need to do it you know reevaluate the purchases that i made and um, it's very hard to avoid numbers because like the episode of Game of Thrones that came out um, the, the Iron Bank of Bravos said this line you know we do like numbers because they are not as open to interpretation now again arguable philosophical point but you get the idea when you see the numbers here all right or on your computer screen um, you can't avoid the fact that you spent that much. I'll give you an example. My friend who also, did, did he, he's the one who introduced me to using the app, which I like pen and paper. But he was, when he started doing it, he was very amazed at how much he spent on food per month. Um, admittedly, he doesn't follow the system anymore. Again, like I say, it's up to your own discipline of doing it. If you're happy to spend all caveat, by all means. But he, like, like he said, he was amazed at how much he spent per month on restaurants and food and did he really need it he admitted no he didn't you know so if you see this kind of thing and you write it down and every month you're looking at it you can change your behavior towards saving basically um and on the board game um <coughs> as an example the reason i played a game called el rashid work replacement game and everything not very good in my view and the thing is that if i was that person who purchased it I would look at that purchase and go at the end of the month, you know, I'll look at all my other purchases and say, well, you know, I already, I got El Rashid and I got, for example, 40 more wood replacement games on my shelf. Did I really need this purchase? You know, and again, true fact, a lot of people I know are saying that they wish they could cut down on their spending and not buy as many games, which because they keep buying games, but they never play them, which is not very useful. Because they don't consider themselves collectors so we're having this um, system at the end of the month where you look at all the example if it's board games you look at all the games and go do I need this then you can again mentally prepare yourself not to buy everything when it comes out then there's no rush to buy you know the games always gonna be there more than likely 
So I started this in 2006. In 2007, when I was doing my degree um, philosophy and history, I actually did a 5,000 word essay on the robber barons of America, which, you know, right over here, show I got all the bibliography and everything. Um, and John D. Rockefeller, I think the world's first billionaire, um, also did this. He used to record every single expenditure. Even when he became a billionaire, he still continued to do it. His children did it. So, if anything, you don't trust me, trust John D. Rockefeller. And I got the bibliography to prove it. <laughs> so, thank you very much. Till next word.